Hi, I'm Nick Rummel with Caterpillar Preventive Maintenance. Today I'm out here looking at this 980H to show you a few things about linkage pins. Now as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on here. We've got our boom, we've got our tilt linkage, and we've got our bucket linkage. One of the main things that these require is, is lubrication. Now all of these pins, as you can see, this is a standard flag pin. Um, the pin is fixed in the boom itself, and then it rotates on a bushing inside, inside the arm. Now, we have to lubricate these. Now, the lubrication points and the type of grease you use can be found in your operation and maintenance manual. Should be located behind the seat of this machine. Now, what that'll also tell you is what type of grease you should use for your climate. Now, while I'm greasing this machine, I also want to inspect it. And here's what I found this morning. The flag's broken off this pin. Now, what this tells me is, is that this pin is now seized in the bore of the, of the lift arm. That means that it's turning inside the bucket. Now what this does is it wears into that bucket. The bucket wasn't designed for the pin to rotate inside of it. It's supposed to rotate inside the lift arm. So it's going to wear the bucket out and we're eventually going to have to bore it and weld it to get it back into the shape. We should put this machine down today and repair this problem, do some measurements on the bucket and make sure that we haven't worn too much. We want this bucket to be nice and tight. While we're talking about uh, grease points and, and lubrication points, let's move over here to the hitch. Now the hitch area has quite a few areas that you need to look at. Not only do we have the steering cylinders, we also have some of the grease points for our boom and bucket linkage. There's also on the other side, a centralized grease location where it greases all the things that you can't get to very easily. Because we want you to be safe, <clears throat> there's tubes that run up to some of these places that are either too high or too hard to get at. So we can grease them easily. One other thing we want to look at are our, are our hinge points, our hitch uh, pins and bushings. Uh, those get greased, maybe not daily. That's something that you really need to check your operation and maintenance manual for. It'll spell that out, how many hours you should grease that. And while we're in here, we need to look for hose rubs, harness rubs, and any oil leaks that we may have to either decide whether we want to catalog those for repair later or we want to put the machine down today and fix them. For more information, please contact your local cat dealer. 